Backend developers are earning way higher than frontend developers. What is this Node.js, databases, APIs, cloud services, etc. What are all the steps you need to take to become the backend developer in 2024? This video is all about, so let's get started. Hello Techies, the 7 step roadmap system to become the backend developer in 2024 in the video. So the blueprint of the video would be backend development the 7 step roadmap system. What is backend development? Backend development is behind the scene or a website or application back functionalities which are server side scripting, creating APIs, database management, security and performance of the application in short as well except ui behind the scene nadakra ella functionalities me back end development ma. seven step roadmap to become the back end developer number one internet basics first and foremost ha, or web page let's say google eduthukome in the html page Every internet is global available What is internet? What is HTTP? What is HTTPS? The difference is DNS nine in the all basics Number two, programming languages. If we talk about the programming languages, you can choose one of your options. First one, JavaScript. It's a programming language that is confined to the browser. JavaScript is not web development. This is not features like async nature, event development, express.js, node.js. In the backend frameworks, node.js next level is important. This will help you to build a scalable and high performance application. Number two, Python. Python is known for its simplicity, readability, and efficiency. Vast ecosystem of Backend frameworks and libraries like Django, Flask, either la use pani, you can do a rapid development of application across domains. Number three, Git and GitHub. Git and Rad, it's a source or version control system. Ungloda company larkara, unga team of developers order, ungloda code base share pandra, maintain pandra, review kudra, it's kind of collaboration. But GitHub, it's a web platform that leverages Git for review or managing code base or tracking the history of code changes etc. So when you are a backend developer, you should know the basics of Git and GitHub. At number 4, databases. Databases are relational and non-relational types. Relational data types are in It stores data in a table format. These tables of data will be linked with each other. So relational data type systems, example in MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle. In here, Data were designed, pandra, query, pandra, manage, pandra, in the all knowledge non-relational database. In the data in the link such database system is MongoDB. They store data in flexible JSON-like documents. So you have fast retrieval or high performance system or different data types you can interact with them. Angala, you MongoDB use At number five. API and API security practices. API is the application programming interface. Rend software system interact panikra or method kapirna API abdin rather. So, inge how to create API, how to modify API, how to document a better API in rather long kandi patrinirkono. So, in our channel, la, developer must know API pati or video nam upload panirko. If you haven't checked it, go and check it right away. Or API create panda the kumunadi and the API yoda security best practice pati ungu kandi patrinirkono. Yena ungu sensitive data va protect parano, unauthorized access black parano. so you should know about authorization authentication data encryption rate limit and you need to do security audits often at number six design patterns design patterns have been rather proven solutions to the commonly occurring problems say for an example or templates mother so instead of reinventing the whole wheel you can reuse the patterns which had been already proved properly different types of design patterns in pathina creational structural behavioral Creational you can go for factory or singleton. Structural key you can go for facade or composite. Structural key you can go for observer or template methods. So in the resources now, design patterns at number seven, additional skills. So if you are starting as a basic backend developer, you can ignore this. But if you learn additional skills, you need to know these two things. First one is caching. Caching is very web development. Important. So, what is caching? Caching is copies of data in temporary storage by which 
இட் ரெடியூசஸ் த லோடிங் எங்கெல்லாம் நமக்கு லோ லெட்டன்சி வேணும் ஆஸ் வெல் ஹை பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் அப்ளிகேஷன் நமக்கு வேணும் அப்படின்னா ஆப்வியஸாக யூ ஹாவ் டு இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் கேஷிங் ஸோ தீஸ் ஆர் ஆல் த டிஃப்ரெண்ட் மெத்தட்ஸ் ஆஃப் கேஷிங் தீஸ் ரிசோர்ஸஸ் வில் ஹெல்ப் யூ டு லேர்ன் மோர் அபவுட் கேஷிங் கண்டெய்னர்ஸ் கண்டெய்னர்ஸ் அப்படின்றது உங்களோட அப்ளிகேஷன் ஆர் சாஃப்ட்வேரை ஒரு ஐசோலேட்டட் ஆர் சேண்ட் பாக்ஸ் என்வரன்மெண்ட்டில் க்ரியேட் பண்ணி டிப்ளாய் பண்ணுறது ஸோ அப்ளிகேஷன் க்ரியேட் பண்ணுறதுக்கு வி கேன் கோ ஃபார் டாக்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் அந்த அப்ளிகேஷனை டிஃப்ரெண்ட் லைஃப் சைக்கிள் அண்ட் அக்ராஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் என்வரன்மெண்ட்ஸில் நம்ம டிப்ளாய் பண்ணுறது ஆர் மெயின்டைன் பண்ணுறதுக்கு வி கேன் கோ ஃபார் கியூபர்னேட் ஸோ தீஸ் ஆர் ஆல் த பேசிக் things you need to know to become the backend developer in 2024 if you want to know about the best programming languages to learn in 2024 in the video check panni paranga if you are the one who is struggling to clear your tech interviews and you need ai interview assistance here we have something interesting for you which is a ace interview ai a saas ai tool you know the release after but it is in its final phase i would suggest you to subscribe to enjoy the free benefits and early access i'll see you soon take care